carrying on. Private drafts of SharePoint pages and news is very useful. So you can create a page that's not visible to anyone else apart from the page author. If you've got a communication site as your total company internet is probably operating that way already because you've probably got a cut down number of people in the organization that can publish news anyway. So no one else can see stuff until it's published. They can't see things until it's ready. This is really useful. So the architecture I like to do is have one team or one main large team for the entire organization, usually if it's an SMB, or at least some bigger chunks of uh, teams for an enterprise level customer, and allow everybody in that team to create any pages they want and any news to really get the community aspect going and get information delivered in the medium that we usually would consume in our personal lives, such as video, text, pictures, just like a web page. And so in here it's useful because then, because everyone's got access to it, as soon as you create a page, it starts suggesting that page to people. Like you can see it's being worked on. And actually, just because it's a new, like a news post, you actually don't want people to see it until it's published because you just want to work on it right now. So this one's useful for that. Again, like I say, if you've got a total company internet, then usually like say HR or some comms people have got access to publish stuff and no one else can see anything in draft anyway. So useful for my architecture. I'm not sure how many people follow that right now though. Uh, so be interested to hear your views.